Good evening, church. So glad to be back with you for another encouraging word on Wednesday. Um, and I hope you all had a great and wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope you were able to visit with your family and able to enjoy some of the good food that comes along with Thanksgiving and, and uh, enjoy some time off work. I know I certainly enjoyed my time off of work and getting to spend time with family. And I just uh, love getting to see everybody. So um, just so enjoyed that. Looking forward to Christmas. It's right around the corner. We went and got our Christmas tree yesterday and just all those festiv festivities that go along with that. So just so uh, enjoying this time of year is my favorite time of the year. Here's what I want to encourage you with today. You are not alone. I want you to know that you are not alone. God said that he would never leave us nor forsake us. He said that he would never leave us nor forsake us. And too often we feel that God is not there. And we know that Christianity is not a feelings of uh, faith. It's not that you feel a certain way and that validates anything. No, we cannot trust our own feelings. Sometimes we feel like that God is just not there. We we go through difficulties and we just feel like, God, where are you at? But if when we come out on the other side of those storms and those trials, those tribulations, and we look back, I guarantee you, you will see God's hand on you and your life and in your family in those situations. God is always there with us every step of the way. So if you'll just turn around and look and, and you know, hindsight is always 20, 20. If you'll turn around and look and see that God is with you every step of the way. Not only that, your church family is there with you. We are part of such a wonderful, loving and giving church at Calvary. I'm so thankful for that. Been able to do a lot of ministries and stuff. And the church family is there to encourage you. We are called as Christians to be Christ-like, to be like Christ. If Christ is there with us, he's never going to leave us and forsake us. Then we should be there for other believers when they go through difficulties. And we will be. If you're going through difficulties, just know that the body of Christ is there with you as well to help you in every way that they possibly can. Just know that a outstretch, to accept an outstretched hand for help is not an admonition of failure, but it's obedience. Just know that the Lord is with you, the Lord loves you, and his church is there with you, and they love you. Can't wait to see you tonight.